All right. Well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, folks, wherever you're joining us from. We are very glad that you are here with us to, to talk about life in Dallas. You know, one of the things that Dallas offers is nothing because off, Dallas offers you a lot of different things. There's no one thing that it can offer. And that is what has uh, been the reason why a lot of us come here to Dallas for either business, to settle down here, to go to school, to go to college, and then probably decide to be here for a variety of reasons. Now, you know me and Sivi, and we have been there on several webinars with you, been on emails with you, so you are pretty aware of us. But just for uh, this, uh, for, the, for our recording, I'm the program director of the Graduate Business Analytics Program, and my colleague Sivi Leventhal is the program manager. Both of us take care of the Business Analytics Flex program that you all are going to be part of. But today we have two very special guests with us. In fact, three of them, the third one will be joining us very soon. But Pooja Kumari and Nitika Sharma, I don't want to not do justice to an introduction. So why don't you go ahead and tell us who you are? And we'll get started from there. Pooja. Yes, sure. So hello, everybody. Good evening. My name is Pooja and I joined UTD in spring 2021 as an MSBA student. Um, coming to my background, I have completed engineering as well as MBA back in India, after which I decided to, you know, get into an analytics field. I have an experience of about one year in uh, marketing field. Um, UTD has been a completely different experience after coming here. I'm no more the same, like just six months into the course and I'm completely a transformed person. That's what uh, UTD and this program does to you. Um, yeah. I think I'm up for any question that you guys have, and I would love to share my experience with you. And uh, yeah, hoping for the best. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Pooja. And one of the things that Pooja did not mention, Pooja recently took over the largest student organization that we have at UT Dallas, the Indian Students Association, as the president of the organization. So I'm sure some of you would have already interacted with her or our teammates in some shape and form, but thank you, Pooja, for being with us today. Oh, yes. So just to, um, you know, talk about it, I'm the new president for the year 2021 of uh, the Indian Student Association. And I think most of you all are all aware of ISA and uh, we, our motto is service before self. We love to help all the Indian students. In fact, any student who come to the US uh, as a part of the UTD. So, yeah. Thank you, Pooja. Nitika. Hello, everyone. Uh, so I'm Nitika. I joined the uh, UTD in spring 2021. I came here in December. And for my background, I'm from a commerce background. I uh, did not have any coding experience. But uh, after coming here, I have, uh, I have done a lot of, I have learned a lot from UTD. Uh, my coding skills are great now. And uh, I have done other projects apart from my academic projects. I've joined many competitions. So it has been a great experience with UTD. And uh, I really like the culture over here. Uh, you can, you have countryside over here and you have city life over here also. So uh, from Monday to Friday, you work properly and then on Saturday, Sunday, you can enjoy. So um, it has been a great experience um, so far. So uh, if you have further questions, you can reach out to me. Thank you so much. Thank you, Nadika. And uh, and one thing that you just mentioned that you can have fun on Saturday, Sunday. Well, that fun goes more or less, you know, depending on what part of the semester you are in. <laughs> but again, the, the idea is that, yes, there is a lot of opportunity to have fun at UTD, fun while you learn. So let, let me throw this question to Pooja. Pooja, before coming to UT Dallas or before coming to Dallas, what was Dallas in your mind? How did you picture Dallas? So I was told that Dallas is a mini India. Like you see like a lot of Indian students here in Dallas, especially UTD. So it's not going to be a very complete, uh, you know, different feeling that you will get. You will feel more uh, homely there. And uh, also about the temperature, weather is quite good compared to other states in US. So these were like two main things which I heard about Dallas. Also, it's it's a saying like everything is big in Dallas, which is so true. So these things, I, after coming here, I, I see that, yes, all of these are actually happening. Uh, I could not experience the in-person, you know, uh, 
experience in the campus but uh, i did get to meet a lot of students here a lot of people here really the faculties over time and uh, it's been a good experience very good very good in fact uh, in case you are wondering how high the temperatures go we just touched 100 degree fahrenheit <laughs> and one of the things dallas will do to you is in case you come from outside of the us you know getting used to the a different scale you know, instead of kilometers, miles, instead of kilograms, pounds, instead of Celsius, uh, Fahrenheit, but then you get used to that. So Nitika, what uh, Pooja just talked about was her idea of Dallas before coming to Dallas. For you, once you came here and you started seeing things, what did you feel was so different than what you had imagined Dallas to be? Um, okay, so I thought that uh, Dallas would be like a countryside and uh, there will be uh, big roads and big cars and everything. But uh, uh, like after going to downtown, I realized that it has many New York also. So there are big buildings, there are many headquarters of different companies. So you have uh, best of both worlds. You have countryside also, lakes also, and then you have uh, uh, your uh, mini New York also. So it's the best of both worlds. I love Dallas so far. And you have many places to visit. You have uh, uh, different museums, so your lakes, your uh, 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 different things that you can, you know, uh, discover. So it has been a great experience for me. And it was very different from what I expected in the beginning. So one of the things that uh, I heard very early on after coming to Dallas myself several years ago was how we don't have a lot of skyscrapers, but we what what we have is a land scraper. You know, you put the skyscraper down and that's the whole building, you know, spread around miles. But uh, you're very right. You know, you go towards downtown and with all these skyscrapers, you feel as if you were in the northeastern part of the US, you know, New York with all those uh, big buildings. Now, one question that comes to us a lot of times, and in fact, this more than the students, it is sometimes their peers, their parents who ask these questions. Will I get to eat my favorite cuisine here in Dallas? <laughs> I what was just about, about to mention that. I was just about to mention that. So, uh, yeah, in, in Dallas, there are like hundreds of Indian restaurants. You get to taste, and there are some dishes which I have tasted it tastes like better here than it tasted in India. So <laughs> I, it, it, that's completely, I mean, I, it's unexpected. There's so many different dishes. It's the same Indian dishes, but in a, in a different, you know, in a modern way. Uh, I love Dallas food here. The Indian food is really good. You will no way miss the homely food. There are so many restaurants which give you the actual South Indian or North Indian home food. Uh, it's it's really good. Anywhere you go, you just come out of the UTD campus and you see like hundreds of restaurants around, Indian restaurants. Very good. Anitika, what about you? Uh, so I want to add what Pooja said. So yes, you will find various restaurants. Uh, you will find you have apart from Indian food, you can try other cuisines also. You can try sushi, then your uh, Turkish uh, cuisine. So we have different uh, restaurants. I uh, went to Turkish uh, cafe, then cafe Istanbul. Then there's Malguri days. You'll not miss your mom's food over here, and uh, you have even Salmana Bhavan for uh, South Indian food. You have a lot of cuisines and even on campus, you have Starbucks and other places that you can explore. So every day is a, you know, new uh, cafe that you can, you know, uh, just go there. So yes, it's a very nice thing and it's a very nice, so uh, uh, discover, you can discover many things over here. You know, uh, alluding to what you just mentioned, one of the things that I I personally have experienced is this how it doesn't matter what part of the world you come from, you will find something related to you having a presence here in Dallas, whether it is from a community standpoint, whether it is from your cuisines, whether it is just the style of living. You know, uh, yes, there are certain communities which are which have more in numbers versus the others, but you will still have presence. And I think that's what makes Dallas such a unique place. It's more like a, a melting pot of the world. If, if, if I have to put it in a, in a certain way. Well, I, while we were talking about food, we saw our third panelist, Pranshu Jarial, just join in. 
And Pranshu has just started an amazing role with UT Dallas, and that is of an alum who he just graduated with us. But Pranshu, why don't you go ahead and just introduce yourself? Uh, hey guys, you. yeah. Uh, my name is Pranshu, and I'm a recent grad uh, in U from UT Dallas. I completed my master's, uh, and my majors were uh, MS in business analytics. I had a good experience in Dallas. I, I had a chance to uh, work in Pennsylvania for two two semesters, for summer and fall semesters. So I was I have missed Dallas a lot, and I have some good number of points to talk about. So as we move forward, I can add more to what our panelists talk about. So uh, Pranshu, we talked about uh, life in Dallas a little bit. The food, we start with food, which is an important thing. But another thing that people ask is that if I have to travel around, let's say, or use the public transport or visit places, and Nitika and Pooja talked about some of the good things that uh, they probably explored. But for a student who has just come to Dallas and wants to explore the place, what are the options available in terms of transport? I think Dallas has the best public transport. I've lived in Pennsylvania and I have never seen any bus on time over here. If anywhere I want to go, I can get the bus, you know, in next 15 to 20 minutes. The buses are coming after every 15 minutes. And the best part is we get the Dart Pass. So with the help of Dart Pass, we can go anywhere in Dallas without any cost. So some of these things are helping us as a students, you know, to save, mon sub save some money and, you know, to travel around. Absolutely. And DART Pass, again, Dallas Area Rapid Transit, that's DART. Once you come here to UT Dallas and you're enrolled in your classes, you can just walk into our parking department and uh, your Comet card, which is your ID card on campus, they will put a sticker on it and that doubles up as a DART Pass. You go into any trans public transport out there, show that pass and you, you're not required to pay. That's one great facility and I think a lot of our students take a lot good advantage of you know those subsidized I mean, for transport wise, it is free, but then you also get a lot of subsidized uh, tickets to places. You know, you're going to museums. Uh, uh, I'm just thinking of the Arboretum for some reason, but then uh, a lot of places to explore. Uh, Sivi, let me ask you this question. Now, since you live here with your family and everything, and you, you did come to Dallas uh, about two years by ago. Way of, by way of many different countries and by, cities in the by United way States, of, yeah. yes. And the fact that you have been in a lot of places yourself, what is something you feel is unique about Dallas? Wow, Texas just sort of figures out how to put its hooks in you. I am originally from the East Coast. I'm from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Harrisburg is not. Don't, 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 don't bash Pennsylvania. Harrisburg is, while it's the capital, it might be a little, it needs a little more work. I'm originally from Pittsburgh and then I went to school in Washington, DC. So I'm very much an East Coaster. And then I moved all over the country. I was the trailing spouse for 15 years. And I've, I've lived in many different places, but Texas finds a way to sort of make you love it, even if you don't think you want to, or you will. It has really good pieces about it. So much like everyone has talked about, you can find what makes you comfortable or you can find what makes you expand your circle, right? So if you want to find the food, if you want to find the event, if you want to find the community, whether it's religious or hobby-based or area-based, whatever it is, if you want to find a group of people that are cycling every weekend, you can find that. If you want to find a group of people to hike with, you can find that. As, as Nitika spoke, there it, it's urban but it's also very rural it, without going you don't have to travel three hours away to get to the countryside you can find trails within the city i live in plano which is right north of where utd is and there are amazing city parks where you you're on a city street driving past businesses and you pull into the park and you walk through this oasis of trees and nature and and my children love it. It gives it, my son loves hiking through hiking. I use hiking very, you know, leave, <laughs> liberally, but, um, you know, there's water running through and you're, you're with these trees and, and it's this, um, if, if that's your cup of tea, if you're someone who wants to be out in nature, you can live urbanly in Richardson, in Plano, but still have experience and the opportunity to, to get to that. There's every retail you could ever want is here, whether you go to North Park or Legacy 
or anywhere else. Uh, you have many, many to choose from. So the, the thing about Texas and Dallas and DFW is that everything you want is here. How far you're willing to travel will dictate how far you actually go. But there's so there's so much in the North Dallas area. There's so much in the DFW area. And there is so much in Texas. If you are someone who wants to see tumbleweeds and a dirt storm, you drive out to West Texas for a weekend and you will experience all of that. If you want to see the Gulf of Mexico, you drive down to Galveston and you experience that. And yes, it might be a five, six, seven hour drive, but in the scheme of things, if you want to see those things, it's not that far. It's really very doable. And so that's what, you know, Texas just sort of finds a way to make you love it and love pieces of it. And then when you leave it, like Pranchu said, you miss it without even realizing that you're going to miss it. You think like, oh, eh, okay, I'm happy to leave. And then you think, wow, okay, that is, that has a part of me. That is home. That is where I want to be. Yeah, absolutely. I think you, you spoke about Texas in the best way possible because one of the things that Texas does to you is it, it makes you addicted to itself for whatever reason. You cannot go back to the normalcy in life, which is smaller you know, qu serving sizes or smaller, narrower roads. Uh, for God's sake, they have Texas edition trucks, which are larger and bigger than a normal truck. And the saying is right that everything's big in Texas, whether it is the roads, where it is the value of money. So see, another thing that Texas is has an advantage is that there is there's no state tax. So you don't end up paying, you get more value for the money that you're paying. And for the same amount of money that you're spending, let's say in New York or California, Texas will give you one and a half, two times the value of it. In terms of the quality of life, great life. People are here for years and years and decades and decades with generations of their kids. And it's just a, it's still a growing community despite of all these things. But you know, there's a, and, and while Sivi was saying, talking about this, I was reminded of a joke where they said that um, I went on a, what do you call, uh, on a, weekend trip on the west coast and i drove through five states in four hours and the next weekend i decided to do the same thing in texas and it's been in nine hours and i'm still in texas so <laughs> it is it is a huge state for you to explore what you want to do so we talked about food we talked about transportation we talked about um, things that you can do now all three of you, I'm sure that in whatever time you're spent here, you have a special memory with Texas. Why don't we talk about that special memory? That, you know, you you experienced only here in Texas. And by the way, we, we use the word Dallas or DFW or Dallas Fort Worth Metroplex. Let's do a quick geography 101 here with DFW. It, the whole Metroplex has a lot of cities. Dallas being the biggest of all, but there's Dallas, McKinney, Frisco, Plano, uh, Anna, Melissa, Fort Worth. I mean, there are lots of cities. You know, think about a suburban place in your country, which has a lot of towns that come together and make that metroplex. We ourselves, UTD is in the city of Richardson. And a question that I have not had an answer for until now is, why is it not University of Texas at Richardson? But University of Texas at Dallas. But then, you know, we go back to 1969 at that point of time. That's what it was. But anyways, you know, keeping that out of equation. But there are a lot of uh, cities out here that come together. And within, I would say, a few score miles, you are into the next city. It's like you drive 15, 20 minutes, you're in the next city. But the whole metroplex, which has a population of about 7 million people, is what Dallas Fort Worth is. Now, when we look at the East Coast, which is New York and all, you know, from an employment standpoint or an industry span standpoint, you see all the financial sector and all that stuff. Uh, when you look at the West Coast, it's all the tech companies there. Dallas is an intersection. Dallas is an intersection. Dallas also has the largest airport, Dallas Fort Worth International, second busiest, but you know, depending on the time of the year, we become the busiest. And it's so ge geographically suited that it doesn't matter where you want to travel, everything is like you know you're in you're at the centroid of united states in some way so again a, a, a great advantage there from a location standpoint 
But going back to our favorite memory, I think I give you some time to think about it. Would like to go first. I can go first. OK, Pranshu. OK, uh, so my best memory was the time when I came here in Dallas. So as soon as I landed here in Dallas, somebody you know from the Indian Student Association who he came up and you know he picked me up from the airport and a person like me who's from north part of the india i do not have any relative or family friends here in usa so this is like this was like a new country uh, for me and my parents were very worried very worried about uh, my experiences over here so as soon as i landed here you know somebody came and he picked me up from the airport you know while we were going towards my apartment he asked me whether i want to buy some groceries or any kind of other stuff from walmart so we went there to walmart and we came back to my house then again, you know, somebody from ISA, he called and he said, do you want something to eat? And the same guy took us to Bavarji restaurant and, you know, he paid for the biryani and he paid for an extra biryani. He said, OK, have it in, in the morning. OK, and all these stuff, you know, and, you know, in the first week, there was a big howdy event where, you know, people, the local communities over here, they gave us furnitures. So right now I have a recliner in my house. I never had a recliner in India. So, you know, all these uh, all these, you know, all these, the local communities, the Indus Student Association, you know, they have helped us a lot, you know, as soon as I, as, as soon as we came here in Dallas. So I think which this memory is something that I really appreciate and I can never forget in my life. I really need to find your biryani guy. <laughs> Pooja. Yeah, thanks, Pranshu. Like, I was really happy to hear that. Now, uh, just to tell you, I'm the new IC president. So uh, it was really good to hear uh, all good things. Yeah, I have experienced the same. I have similar experience with ISA. So I'm really happy that everybody has something unique to experience with ISA. Uh, about my experience, I think the most unique experience, something uh, which I never even thought of was a snowstorm, which happened. I could like I think it was the first time that I'm experiencing snow firstly and that too I could like see uh, houses being flooded it was a very difficult experience I would say like it was very difficult to see uh, there was no power the power outage and it was very cold like it was it went about like minus 13 to 14 degrees uh, so it was like but even then there were people like I say or there were other people who were helping us out. Uh, my place, there was everything fine. So I, I was also hosting another, my few of my friends from other community, they came to my place and they were with us, you know, the Walmart and various other uh, grocery stores were all like, we, were, we weren't able to access them because we did not have car or anything of that sort. But we still like, we were all together and we were trying to find out. It, it was a uh, very different experience for me but in a way we were able to help each other so that was something very unique which i found in dallas people around here are very courteous and very helpful uh pranchu mentioned about big howdy they also have been a huge help i say uh, right at that point of time they were providing food services to the other communities uh, free food so uh, I, I was really overwhelmed at that point of time, like people are in difficult situations and everybody here is trying to help each other. So that's something which I, I don't think I can ever forget. Yeah. Very good. Again, the, the snowstorm was a very unique experience. It doesn't happen often. It was like once uh, in like what, three, four decades that it happened, but uh, definitely something that helped a lot of students forge friendships, you know, uh, the good times really don't help you that much in terms of building your friendship and your close connection as opposed to challenging times. And that definitely was a good challenge to have. Nitika, what was the best thing for you here in Dallas? Okay, so the best memory that I have is when my sister got placed, we thought of celebrating it by going to the Arboretum. So Arboretum is a place where you, uh, it's like a park. It's not like just a normal park. It's a, a place where there are a lot of uh, vegetation, a lot of uh, flowers, and it's very serene. It's very beautiful. Uh, there is children park also. So when we went there, um, I really liked that place. I started missing my mom. I started missing uh, even Mumbai, Lunavla, because it, because it looks like uh, Lunavla, and uh, it's very beautiful. So it's one of the best memories over here in Dallas because it was the first outing and it was a very big moment for my sister also because she got placed. So yes, that's 
So one of the <laughs> best memories so far. Very good, very good. But it's it's a beautiful place, and you know any student who is just thinking about Arboretum or just loves flowers and nature, and and you wish to visit it, it it's a definitely something that where you'll you'll spend your time very well. Sivia, uh, while they were talking about their special experiences, you know one of the things that happens here is a lot of times our students come and they they will settle here for life. They will start families and stuff. So since you already have young kids and you know you kind of lit, started your life here in te in Dallas about a couple of years ago, what kind of resources do you feel you have and that that helped you throughout the way in terms of helping your family come together and you know things like the school district etc. I feel it may be an early conversation for a lot of people, but it's good to have that understanding of what Dallas has to offer. Absolutely. So the wonderful thing about Dallas, as Professor Shucker was saying, is there are so many different cities that bleed into each other. So you have multiple options to figure out which get, which city gives you the suburban versus urban lifestyle you want, plus the school district, plus the sense of community, because it's not the same for everyone. Some people love Plano and don't want the urbanness of Dallas. Some people want the urbanness of Dallas and don't want the suburban lifestyle of Plano and and then even more. You can get even more suburban and rural and you can find what fits for you. So you have multiple choices, which is the really wonderful thing. In such a sort of compact area, you have many different cities to choose from. Each city has its own school district. So you can figure out what would be right for you and your family. There are countless preschools around. So if you have little kids before they hit school age, you have choices to find what's right for you. Almost every church I feel like probably has one, plus then there are non-religious ones on it seems like almost every corner. Um, and then each each public space, so different museums, different communities have different, each library have clearly once we get past COVID, have lots of events and activities for young children, families, things. Th so basically, if you want to find something to do every day or every weekend, you can. If you don't, you can do your own thing. Uh, but the offer will always stand that as you guys come here and settle and maybe start a family and stay, please reach out to me and I'm happy to help you any way that I can. But it really, the 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 choices exist for you to find the right fit for you and that's what's so wonderful about north dallas greater dfw if you're someone who's happy to to commute and spend a long time in the car then you can live almost anywhere in the metroplex i don't want to drive more than 10 minutes so i don't live more than 10 minutes from utd because that's where i value my time but other people are happy to drive further and have more house or have more land or have whatever um, so the options exist they are abundant and they are they're 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 flexible to fit and find your perfect find and so it really makes it a wonderful place to start a family, grow a family, li settle a family, and and be here and have so many choices to make and find the right community and home and place for you. Well, thank you for sharing that. In fact, uh, what you said about you know how the the system of the city, whether it is school or it is your community, it's it's so supportive of any type of lifestyle. If you are somebody who who wants a big piece of land for a big house, you know, you got it. It's not like that you have to go miles and miles and miles for something. You know, you'll find every type of accommodation, every type of experience a lot of times in the same community itself. So I feel that that's a great thing about Dallas. Now, one of the things that we see is that, you know, especially for our students who you know come from overseas, that after they're here a few months later, there are these pictures where there are two cars and there are five or six different friends who are just posing around those cars at very picturesque places. And, you know, you have your captions which say a road trip for life or, you know, whatever it is. So that means somebody has taken a road trip to a nice place. Now, road trip means that you're driving here and to drive, you need a license. Anybody was, would like to talk about their 
experience with getting a license here in Dallas to drive around if they have to. Or how do you get a car? Do you have to buy a car? Okay, you can just rent it out. Right, I can do. Uh, I think for the license, you first have to apply for the learner's permit. So for the le learner's permit, you need at least uh, two address proofs, your SSN, uh, you know, your I-20 and visa passport. So it is very easy. Once you apply for your learner's license, you will, they will mail it to you within the next uh, 30 days. And after 30 days, you know, uh, you will apply for the permanent license. So the process of license is pretty much easy. In terms of car, there are multiple ways to have a car. One, you, one, you can also rent a car for for a month or so. The other thing is you can buy a car or you can lease a car. So there are different ways to <clears throat> get a car. The best part about Texas is the gas is so cheap here. One gallon of gas costs two point four dollars, and if you go to the west coast or east coast, it's almost double. So. <laughs> and plus the insurance fees as well. So it's not that much. So these are some of the perks of living in Texas. Absolutely. And we're talking about renting a car, there are services like Zipcar and all. You know, if you have, it's a very uh, inexpensive membership, $10 or something that you have to uh, pay for it. But there are actually spots on campus where Zipcar has their cars parked. All you have to do is just book it online and at the stipulated time, go there and you know, use your membership card to, to open the and just bring it back whenever it's time. But uh, students find a lot of useful things. In fact, cars or getting a license to drive a vehicle is one thing. Even if you are somebody who likes to fish or who has never fished before and wants to go fishing, that also is pretty straightforward, simple, you know, walking into a Walmart, getting a fishing license. And then Tex, our area, the Dallas Fort Worth area, has some of the biggest lakes in this region. And they do allow fishing and also again doesn't matter what kind of experience you want to craft there is something out there to do so we talked about driving so i'm just trying to check all the boxes here we talked about driving living food uh, going to museums and places now utd let's talk a little bit about utd um, and nitika or puja anybody is, would like to jump on this so people the last one year was, you know, sort of very unique where students did not spend a lot of time on campus. They hardly came to campus. If they came here, they were here for a few hours or so. But do you generally feel safe here? Do you feel that it's safe or it's not very safe? Because that's another question that we get. Yeah, I can take that. See, uh, well, UTD is a very beautiful campus, I must say that. Not that I have gone there, like, I, I haven't attended much classes since it was in, not in person, but I have gone to UTD, my place was very close to UTD, so a lot many times I went to the campus, to the library, to the to get my Comet card, uh, and various other times where I had to go, uh, you know, even to get the Xerox or print out, you go to the library. It's, things are very systematic here, you go, it's, Anything that you want, you get it very easily. Talking about the campus, it's very beautiful. And yes, it is very safe. Like there has been times where I was in the campus around 10, 11 at night and alone. And it did not, like I can just walk my, uh, I used to stay in a place called Northside, which is just opposite, like very, you, it's walkable from the campus. So I could like walk till my community at night around 11, 12, anytime. So it's very safe for everybody here. Uh, it's like, Last six months hasn't been that lively as I expected, but uh, in terms of safety, uh, I have never come across any situation where you, I don't feel good or I don't feel comfortable. Thank you for sharing that. Thank you. Another thing that our students ask a lot of times is that, OK, food is OK, community is OK, but uh, I may miss my place because there are all these different festivals, you know, that I have that I celebrate at my place. Will I get to do that in Dallas? So Nitika, would you like to talk about that a bit? Do do you feel out of place when it comes to celebrating your favorite festivals or do you have options here? Uh, yes, we have a lot of options here. Uh, so we just celebrated Holi uh, in March or I think April. So uh, we, all of us, you know, uh, go to a place and then celebrate Holi. And even on campus, so you celebrate Diwali and there are other festivals also. 
I don't think that uh, Holi was celebrated in the UT Dallas campus, but uh, everything is opening. Um, he, like the university is providing vaccination, so it's very safe. Uh, your classes are getting opened. So I believe that we will be able to, you know, celebrate Diwali here on campus. Um, and apart from uh, uh, Diwali, there are other festivals that are celebrated. Uh, there was uh, last only, uh, I think, two to three months, uh, two to three uh, days back, there was Pride Walk also. So um, we are very gender uh, inclusive and uh, it's uh, beauty is all about diverse culture. So we have a lot of things that you can, you know, uh, explore. So, yeah. Very good. Well, again, doesn't matter which community you come from, you will have your festivals, your community is celebrating them. And one thing that I like about uh, Dallas is, you know, so let's say that there is a certain festival in your community and you, that might only be there for a couple of days. But here, because you're in Dallas, all the celebrations, they, they're almost spread across the whole month. You know, there are different people who will be celebrating it differently and they'll be having those gatherings and whatnot. Well, we did not have a lot of them last year because of COVID, but definitely with uh, people getting vaccinated and the numbers going down and in fact, almost to nil right now, uh, that's what we are looking forward to places opening up again. Yeah, we, uh, we do, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, Pooja, go ahead. I would just like to add on that. So uh, since everything is getting back on campus, uh, I say team has already planned various festivals, which which we are going to celebrate as soon as you uh, students from fall, like fall students basically come in. You have Independence Day. We have the Shara celebration. We have Fall Bash, Diwali, all of these lined up. We have already started planning for all of these events. So I'm sure all the students are going to. And now that everybody is excited, it's like even our batch people, we haven't experienced it. So we are excited. And the new students coming up, I think we are going to have a, come a very different experience and a very happy experience celebrating all the festivals in fall. Yeah. Absolutely, we we do look forward to that, and and one another thing that I like about festivals, and especially the way they are celebrated here, is, is you know how if you go from one community and celebrate somebody else's festival, and you know the the camaraderie around it is so great. Uh, you know, a lot of my good, very good friends, we bonded over things like uh, Saint Patrick's Day, Cinco de Mayo, Halloween, uh, Thanksgiving. And it's just so amazing because, you know, as we get closer to December and Sivi, just correct me on this. It's in the air. You can smell it. You can smell these festivals, you know, that tells you that how uh, strongly they are celebrated here and how passionately they are celebrated that it's it's in the air. It's actually a truth here. But we do have people on the call as well. So if you want to put any comments or questions in the chat, we are more than happy to take questions right now. And again, from a standpoint of whether it is your life or whether it is community experience, whether it is what you'll do at UTD as a student, in all ways, personal, professional, academic, this is a great place to be. And that's why a lot of people come down to Dallas, they come down to UTD and they, they end up staying here for forever sometimes. Because again, why do you want to move? You want to move for, you know, maybe some better opportunities or something. And and right now, and I would say from the last five to 10 years, especially the way companies are flocking down to Texas. In fact, in the last two, three years, that traffic has just doubled and tripled. Some of the biggest companies have their corporations, their headquarters, either in our neighborhood. For example, in 2017, I believe, 16, uh, Toyota brought their North America headquarters right in the neighborhood of UT Dallas. Hardly 20 minutes from the campus, we have a 100 acre campus of Toyota, and that's their North America campus uh, headquarters. Similarly, within so in the same vicinity, we have Ericsson, who has their North America headquarters, and they've been there for ages now. 22 of the Fortune 500 companies have their headquarters right here. So it just, it says a lot. And then DFW Airport, you know, being a big airport, has a connection to any part of the world. You have direct flights down from a lot of places which are far off. Uh, you know, on the other side of the world. 
So again, it's a, it's a great place to be. It's a great place to not only grow yourself, but if you want to start family or you have family that you're bringing in, at the end of the day, this place has something for everybody. Nobody will ever come and say that, oh, you know what, I'm not really uh, getting what I wanted. Then probably there's still more to explore. That's what I would say. And um, I, I definitely believe all of you in some way alluded to this, that if you don't enjoy it and if you don't, experience it you will miss it somewhere you will miss it and that is true for this place i learned that lesson several years ago uh, i originally hailed from new delhi and the taj mahal is like 150 miles away from my place and for my entire life maybe about 25 years i was like oh you know what i, I will visit it someday oh it's right here you can always visit it never happened so <laughs> The same thing, once you come here, do plan out. You know, there are a lot of great things that you will do at UTD as a student, but do take time out to plan your life around, you know, fun things, you know, visiting places, going to these restaurants, trying new cuisines. In fact, uh, the West Campbell Road on which UT Dallas is itself has, if you're looking for food options, maybe 30 different options, 30 different options, and multiple restaurants of the same cuisine to, to help you. And that's just one thing. But, um, it is a good place and we all are very thankful that you decided to uh, you know, choose UT Dallas as your next destination and definitely it is going to be a great experience. I'll give a couple of minutes for any questions that might come in. But uh, since we don't have any questions yet, any final comments the four of you would like to uh, you know, tell these people who are trying to get to Dallas, just about Dallas, anybody. Prancho, would you like to go ahead? Uh, I wanted to talk about taxes as well. So while I was working okay. in Pennsylvania, <laughs> I was paying 30% of my taxes. So one third of my salary was <laughs> going towards taxes. Uh, so for an intern, you know, when you're not earning much, you know, I was just earning two to three grants. So, you know, paying one third of my amount towards taxes, you know, it was something I never liked. So, which is not a case in Dallas. <laughs> Here you don't need to, I mean, you don't have to pay, you know, as much taxes as, you know, the East Coast or West Coast. But this is something that I really like about Texas. Very good. Yeah, I just wanted to say like about uh, a short trip that I went to, you know, you, I know that things get overwhelming when students come here. There's so many assignments, homeworks, projects, and but I would suggest you guys to take some time maybe during the weekend or maybe during the spring break to uh, explore Texas. So uh, just a week back, I went on a short trip. So I would suggest that if you are planning for a trip in Texas, go to Houston, you have NASA there, go to Austin, San Antonio. That's like usual. Anybody who wants to travel Texas, they have these three places in mind, going to NASA, uh, going to Houston, Austin, and San Antonio. It's It, it would just, just take like about two to three days. That's a must visit if you want to travel like outside Dallas. So yes, you guys are going to have a great experience here in terms of, but uh, the only suggestion or the only uh, maybe some kind of a recommendation which I would give you is try to, you know, do the time management and please have, a, you know, track your Outlook emails. That's one thing. You might miss out a lot many things if you do not do that. So, you know, at one point of time, I was like, maybe the time management tools are my best friend. Like there's so many things coming up every week. You have so many events, so many things with respect to your course. So I would uh, suggest that you guys manage your time really well. <laughs> yeah. Very good. Thank you, Pooja. Nitika? Um, I just want to add that UTD community is very supportive and very helpful. Uh, you'll never feel alone over here. You can reach out to your alums, uh, your peers, your professor and even different associations, you can reach out to them. So um, you'll never feel alone over here. You will have a strong support system and you will be able to do a lot of networking with uh, the alums also. So uh, it will be a great experience for you. And we are very different experience from what you had in India or in other countries. So that's my uh, and my advice is that you should reach out to people you should make a connection you should do networking and uh, it will be very great uh, for your career also for long term uh, for finding internships and for finding uh, jobs so just 
come here, explore things, and reach out to people, make connections. Thank you. Thank you, Nidika. Sylvia, any final words? I think the the best advice I can give you is to just expect the unexpected. Don't come in with preconceived notions. Don't come in saying I'm only going to do this or I'm only interested in that. Come in with a very open mind and let opportunities present themselves to you academically, personally, professionally. Just, you know, be as involved as you want to be, but then go like a mile further and say, okay, I really only wanted to do this, but this is a great opportunity and I'm exhausted, but I, I want to make sure I don't miss out on something. Because if you don't go to an event or take that road trip or whatever, life happens and you get a full-time job or you have kids and your responsibilities change. So while you are in grad school, which I know is a huge commitment and a big undertaking, I don't mean to sound like it's not, but it's, it is an opportunity for a time in your life to get a little less sleep, take that trip, spend the time with your friends, go to the event, do those things. So just, just come in with a very open mind to have all of the experiences that you can possibly have and just enjoy it. Yeah, I, absolutely. I, I like it. Just enjoy it because you ne never know how things will come out. And you know, sometimes some of the best things are the ones which are unplanned. You never expected them, but they happened. I do see a question from Puneet about uh, apartments not being available, and you know they're asking for guarantors in SSN. Now, we, we are in talks with some of the apartments on a case-to-case -case basis when we get to hear about challenges with people. And again, some of them have a certain policy that they have enforced this year, and it's a lot because of you know, undue cancellations at times when they were expecting people to show up, but people didn't show up and, and that resulted into their apartments not being taken up for several months, which was a business loss. And that's why they have started doing this. But what we can help you with is um, if you send an email to me, I can try and see if we have uh, some kind of connection already with the community and just reach out to them and talk to them that what is the best way forward for you to get something. If there is nothing available in that community, UT Dallas is surrounded by a lot of off-campus communities that have apartments written, and, and I'm sure that we'll be able to find something. In fact, this is a time when our big batches from all the programs graduating, and with them graduating, there are students moving out, so definitely in the next coming weeks, there should be more availabilities. But uh, do send that email to me, Puneet, and we can help with that. Uh, Vanilla, is there a platform where we can connect with current incoming students? If yes, where? Well, uh, Telegram is there. We have all our current incoming students on Telegram. Again, send an email to me and I'll uh, let you know what that link is. But we also are going to have a mixer with our new students in the second week after classes begin. You'll, you will get to meet not only your peers, but also your faculty and people who will work with you in the course of the program. It'll be an informal event uh, with some food and all served, but uh, definitely there will be a lot of ways through which you can meet people. Now, if if you are having challenges uh, connecting with people, again, send an email to me or Sivi and we will connect you with some of our mentors who could be your hook into knowing the, the current as well as incoming students. As far as uh, SSNs are concerned, that's a good question. You need to have a job offer, whether it's an on-campus job or it's an internship. Once you have an offer letter, you know you apply for an SSN at the Social Service Administration office, which is not very far away from campus, so that you know you get your SSN in about three to four weeks. It takes about three-ish weeks, I would say. Some of us yet uh, to get out. Well, again, getting an apartment before you have your visa in place. What you could do is, again, if you want surety that yes, only after I get my visa, I will get my apartment because you know that's the uncertain part. What I would recommend is if you have your uh, visa appointment in the next few weeks, you know, go ahead with that and then probably finalize on an apartment. But as far as looking at apartment is concerned as far as applying for them is concerned 
you know, get that activity started because there are a lot of people who are coming down to Dallas and maybe, you know, the, the preferred apartment that you want, the size or, you know, the one which with a rent, which is in your budget, that might not be available at a later point of time. So it's it's actually a very tricky situation right now with you trying to get your appoint visas and booking an appoint an apartment, but don't start the activity of you know looking for apartments or looking for who your roommates and etc are going to be, and then book an apart uh, an apartment only after you have your visa. I think it'll be a lot uh, delayed then. So for those who don't know, are you guys going to shit schedule? Well, uh, Ricardo, what you can do is we have a visitor center here on campus and what they do is if you can book an appointment with them. They take you around the campus and they show you every building around the campus and they tell you what it is about and those tours are happening every day. There are also signs up around campus where you can take a self led virtual tour, so you scan your phone at each location and it will tell you where you are and what the buildings are around you. So if you're not super interested in doing this tour through the um, visitor center, you can do it sort of a self paced tour and see the parts of campus that you're interested in. Um, but I think our panelists can speak to you just sort of learn the campus once you get here and are, you know, boots on the ground. You're here, you're walking around, you take some time and you find find where buildings are. But th there's also the what the UT Dallas website has a wonderful campus map that yeah. lets you see the campus as a whole in color and each building has a coding so you can figure out what the coding is. But I imagine they will probably tell you that you live in JSOM, the library, and maybe the student union. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, that is the, that is true. All right, well, let me get, tell you this one thing. Probably of all who's out here on this call have been the longest at UD Dallas. And I myself have not seen everything on campus. Despite knowing a lot of places, the campus is so huge and it has so many things to explore that even on all these years it did not happen. But once you're here and with all the events and everything happening, you will automatically end up exploring the campus. And it's going to be one of your best experiences, and we look forward to that. We look forward to helping you in making that experience the best of your lives, and we can't wait for you to be here. So, all the best to everybody who's in preparation right now to get down to UT Dallas, and we look forward to you. But thank you so much to our panelists for joining us this morning and talking about their experience and you know giving a first-hand account of what UT Dallas or living in Dallas is all about. Well, all of you have a great rest of your day, your evening, and we wish you all the best in your endeavors, and we hope to see you again soon. Well, thanks, everybody. Thank you so much, Professor. Thank you, Sylvia. It was great connecting with you. Thank you, guys. Thank you great. so much. Thank you, everyone. Thanks.